what's up guys? Uh, I'm Coach Ray Montagnel. I'm the director of Phil Can Nation Select. And you guys are here at our day two of our Toronto Regional Combine. And we're just trying to identify and showcase some of the top Phil Can ballers in the GTA and in Ontario. Um, so yeah, we got, we, got, we got the drills going on in the background. Um, and we have some of the top players, top, some of the top Phil Can players out in Toronto. And again, we're just trying to highlight who are the top players uh, and, and trying to br bridge the gap and, and create opportunities for them to play, whether it be in the Philippines or in Asia or even North America, right? Like we, we as an organization, uh, we're just providing a platform to, to see who are the top players and help them get to wherever they want to go, whether they want to play high school basketball, college basketball, pro basketball, and whether that be in North America or in Asia, uh, we're just trying to highlight them and, and give them the opportunity and, and bridge that gap. You know what I mean? Like, and at the same time, just uplift and and and, and raise and, and grow this Filipino basketball community. So I mean, you know, Phil Can Nation, we identify that it, it, it is a bit of a struggle for um, Filipinos and Asians in general, I think, in the basketball community sometimes getting overlooked, whether it be for height reasons. I, I would say that's actually the main reason. Uh, you know, it's always known that we have the talent at a very young age, but the narrative have, has usually been Oh, they're too small, um, you know, when you compare them to, to the rest of the, the, the basketball community. We have the heart, and, and like I said, we have the skill set, and sometimes we just don't have that opportunity. And, and what we try to do is bring light to these players um, with hopes that other organizations will see, okay, well, this kid is one of the top Filipino Canadians in Toronto or in the country or in the world, um, and bring light to the other organizations that may have overlooked them um, with their first kind of encounter with that player. Um, and that's kind of what we hope. That's what we hope to do and, and break that barrier so that we see more Filipino Canadians representing, whether it be Team Ontario, Team Canada, um, and of course, um, the Philippine Gilas National Program. We'd like to see more Filipino Canadians on the Gilas program, um, you know, representing both the boys and the girls side of things and at the senior level. Uh, we definitely think we have the talent. The combine really works is we have combines across the country um, where we identify the top performers in each of the cities. Top performers will be invited to our Canada Regional Showcase, which will highlight all the top players in Canada, the Phil Can balls in Canada. And then we, from there, we're gonna identify the top players and performers there and invite them to the World Summit where we'll have some of the top Phil foreigners around the world um, competing in one gym um, in front of the eyes of, you know, scouts, managers, coaches back in the Philippines and in Asia, uh, and just hopefully providing opportunities for them. Well, being someone who grew up in the Filipino Canadian community um, in the basketball and soccer side, um, I felt like it's great exposure for the country and it's good for Canada basketball as well because it is growing now. It also provides opportunities for people that are looking to play elsewhere. I think it kind of motivates those girls that do have those hidden talents to kind of just step out. Um, it does get intimidating sometimes and there is, a, there is pressure, especially within the Filipino community, um, but it also gives the younger girls an outlook to see like, oh, like that person is a Filipino Canadian playing at this level, like I wanna be like her. Utilize your coaches, your mentors, find resources, cause there are many new resources out there for Canadians, not just Filipino Canadians, but for all Canadians. Um, I felt like Canadians are the underdog of like the sports world, so, but now we're coming up. I just feel it's important that uh, I'm trying to be a mentor to some of these young guys because uh, I played at that, the next level and, and just to let them know that it is possible if you do put in all the hard work and if you do believe in yourself, um, anything is possible. This exposure camp here, it gives these guys a, a chance to, to play on a, on a platform where they can be seen and, and, and play with some exposure to the, maybe um, countries or even teams that they, they can't see in the local country or in the local areas that they're in. Some of the advice I can share with some of these young aspiring players is, uh, you know, um, a lot of them, they should uh, focus on their documents, make sure they handle that kind of stuff. A lot of the stuff they got to handle in the classroom, they got to handle their schoolwork. Um, like I was trying to tell them earlier, I said, uh, basketball is a tool that they can uh, use to get like 
further in life, but at the same time, they can use it to get an education. They can use it that can help them later on in the future when basketball is all said and done. To all the players out there that's uh, that's looking to go and play at the next level and get some exposure, I I suggest that you come through and you come check it out and come and come come and compete. Come compete. Come play hard, and you know it's always good to get an opportunity to play in front of uh, with with some of the best talent here and in front of some of the coaches that have the experience.